moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. No, it cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home in Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. You become one with Gale's mind, and you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you, a mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book, bound, and suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Keeping me in suspense, are you? Come on, tell me. Do we have an agreement or not? It's a simple question, isn't it? What gives you pause? What? You used that thing against me and you saw after I told you you had no right, none at all. I have a good mind to turn around and depart this little company of ours immediately. I'd rather be alone and spend another moment in the presence of someone inclined to such unjustified invasions of privacy. Shh. 
So be it. This is where we part ways. <laughs> 